Windows 11 looks modern, but behind the scenes, it comes packed with unnecessary apps, ads, tracking and background services. In this video, I am going to show you a powerful yet safe tool called Crap Fixer that helps you properly debloat Windows 11. This tool removes bloatware, disables ads and telemetry, and improves performance. This method works best on Windows 11, but it also works on Windows 10. Let's begin. First, open your web browser and go to the GitHub link that I've added in the video description. This is the official Craft Fixer repository created by Built by Bell. Scroll down and go to the Releases section. Download the Craft Fixer zip file. The file size is very small, so it will download quickly. After downloading, extract the zip file. Now, right click on Craft Fixer executable file and select Run as Administrator. This step is important because most system level changes won't work without admin access. Craft Fixer will now open. At the top, you can see the version number and the Windows build it's currently running on. Let's start with the Issues section. Here you'll see options like Basic Disk Cleanup and Widget App Updates. Disk Cleanup helps remove temporary junk files, while App Updates can update Microsoft Store apps. If you are never unsure about an option, just right-click it and check the Help section first. It shows exactly what that option does in simple terms. If you click Yes, it can even open a browser page with more technical details about the command or registry change being used. This makes Craft Fixer much safer and more transparent compared to random debloat scripts you find on the internet. Next is the System section. This area focuses on performance and system behavior. You can enable detailed blue screen error messages instead of the useless sad face. You can enable verbose logo messages so Windows shows what it's doing during setup. You can speed up shutdown time, reduce menu delays, and optimize overall system responsiveness. There is also an option to disable network throttling. This can improve performance in some cases, but if you are not sure, you can leave it unchecked. You can also enable the End Task option directly in the Windows 11 taskbar, which is very useful when apps freeze. Disabling hibernation is also available if you don't use it and want to free up disk space. Now scroll down to the Microsoft Edge section. Even if you don't use Edge, Windows keeps it deeply integrated. Here you can disable Edge sign-in and sync, remove sponsored links from the new tabs, stop Edge from forcing itself as the default browser, disabling the shopping assistant, remove first run prompts, disable Copilot inside Edge, and stop Edge from running in the background using Start Boost. These settings don't break Edge, they simply stop unnecessary tracking and promotional behavior. Next is the UI section, which fixes some of the most annoying Windows 11 design choices. You can restore the classic full right-click context menu, disable personalized lock screen, hide the search box from the taskbar, remove most used app suggestions from the start menu, hide the task view button, disable Bing search integration from start, pin more apps instead of recommendations, and align the start button to the left for a Windows 10-like layout. You can also disable transparency effects and snap assist flyouts if you prefer a cleaner and faster interface. Now move to the gaming section. Here you can disable Game DVR, which runs background recording services. You can disable power throttling to allow the CPU to run at full performance, and you can disable visual effects to improve performance on low-end or older PCs. After that, go to the privacy section. This is one of the most important parts. Here you can disable activity history, location tracking, the privacy setup screen that appears after updates, and telemetry data collection. This significantly reduces background tracking and data sent to Microsoft. Below that is the Ads section. You can disable ads in the File Explorer, finish setup ads, lock screen tips, personalized ads, ads inside settings, start menu ads, tailored experiences, general tips, and welcome screen promotions. Once these are disabled, Windows finally feels like a clean operating system again. Then comes the AI section. Here, you can remove Copilot from the taskbar and turn off recall features in Windows 11 if available. Now let's remove bloatware apps. Switch to the Applications tab at the top and click Analyze. Then it'll show a detailed analysis showing detected bloatware like Microsoft News, Weather, Your Phone, Maps, 
Feedback Hub, Solitaire, Office Hub, Sticky Notes, Get Help and Media Apps. Only select apps you are sure you don't need. Once you are done, click Run Fixer. The selected apps will be removed cleanly without breaking windows. And that's it. This is one of the most effective and beginner-friendly ways to debloat Windows 11 properly, improve performance, reduce tracking, and keep your system clean even after updates.